It's Black Light. I'm back. Cyberspace Ministry. The Aboriginal Universal Supreme Council of the Elders. We're back on the case. Uh, briefly. We're going to go on hiatus, as they say. But this is something uh, I had to uh, say to my peeps. And uh, I'm glad I got somebody listening. And there are those that agree with uh, what I'm saying. People are leaving away from here, dying all kind of ways in a record number. Every day somebody is dying or, or being killed. Uh, there's more people dying of uh, accidents, murders, and homicide, and uh, more than natural death, premature uh, health issues take them away. Premature death from health health issues is taking them away. And uh, when I go into silence uh, this 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 last time, I'm going to come back with. Uh, some hard-hitting uh, solutions for some hard-hitting uh, issues and problems that we face in the black community and all over the planet. And this is one thing I want you to think on, especially to my black uh, brothers and sisters. I mean, uh, Don't think just in the terms of America. Don't think just in the terms of your city or your state. Even though you know, uh, even though uh, it's loyalty there from uh, from where you grew up at, where you were born at. But you were born on a planet. A state is imaginary borders. A city is imaginary borders. It's not natural. The planet, you can make borders, but, you know, there's no borders except what man made. And when you think in terms like that of borders, you got to know, well, where did that come from? If it was such thing as borders, why didn't uh, the European or the Caucasian, why is he in everybody else's border taking over? You know, if, if uh, and for the Indians, the Native American didn't want to, uh, if they would have thought, be thought, thought thinking about borders and this is my land and we're not going to share it with nobody else. And the, and the, and the, and the Mexicans the same way because actually they, they're considered uh, Native Americans too. And when the European came over here, uh, They allow him to colonize over here, not thinking that, imagining that one day that they'll be uh, somewhere on a reservation, which means reserved land for the Native Americans, and they can't go or go nowhere else but on that reserved land. You should stay on this reservation. 
And that's it. That's the only land we're going to give you. When once you were roaming this whole land, and you didn't think about uh, borders. So the European came over here and made borders. Now can't nobody come that's not in these borders. They can't come come coming in borders. What you know, you gotta have a, be a citizen, have papers. You know. So what gave them the authority to do that? Who gave them the authority to do that? Well, the Indians fought them off. The Native Americans fought them off as uh, much as they could without being totally annihilated. So now he's over in uh, other lands controlling other other lands and uh because they they made borders you know they they say well you know we're gonna follow after european and make borders but it wasn't no borders except the border that we put them in in the caucus mountains and we were using that as a present because we didn't have jails and presents like they got here So, I'm just, you know, putting that, putting that on your mind, you know. And as far as uh, the black man is concerned, the black man and the black woman, uh, they got you caught up, they got us caught up, and they didn't want us to mingle with them until recently, uh, when Martin Luther King was pushing for uh, integration, in other words, you could uh, go to their toilets, eat at their restaurants, and that was in the 50s. So then they decided to let us uh, uh, mingle with them and share with them uh, for at least 10 years. So they said, we're gonna rent rent this out to them. Rent, we're gonna rent uh, citizenship ship, ship out to them. So that's why they got the Civil Rights Act. Every 10 years, we gonna see if we want them, want them, you know, want them to do, deal with it. Every 10 years. See if we wanna deal with it every 10 years. And so then they, they uh, broaden the Civil Rights Act to uh, white women and to uh, homosexuals. So, borders, man. Borders. So, so let, us, let us not, the black man and the black woman, think on terms like that because we are the ancient ones of the planet Earth. We got seniority. There's no one authority over us. And evidently, we, we was doing it right because look how long we've been here. You know, we've we, we been here uh, millions and trillions of years. And if we weren't doing it right, we, you know, I'm quite sure we, would, we wouldn't be here. But let's look at this modern day uh, Caucasian man. He having wars. In his mind, which is our mind, we got to fight or kill somebody every day just in order to live. I mean, if it ain't nobody coming up in your house trying to take what you got and trying to kill you, then look at all the, all the TV shows. The, the, the very popular ones are cop shows about people killing people, getting trying to get away with murder, trying to rob or something like that. There's always gonna be some violence in his uh, 
movies or, you know, television shows. Uh, now, nah, even in music, it's violence. And we go on YouTube, you know, they, they turn hip hop into a violent, gangster type uh, uh, culture. When it, when it first came out, it was just like having fun, you know, having a block party and being at the party, rocking the party, you know, because you didn't have no money to uh, go and watch uh, famous entertainers. So you 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 deal with that in the in the basement or in the house or at the, on the block party by having uh, DJs and MCs. The white man seen money in that, and then he made that violent. Then dope came, and it even got more violent. Because when he, when the white man was bootlegging whiskey, he did that in a violent manner. You know, he was shooting up people, Al Capone and all them, you know. So everything is violent, you know. Look at the at the video games they playing. You know, uh, nothing but violence, man. War games and whatever. Comedy pictures do good, but even some of them got violent, funny violence. You know. Uh, you know, not too many people get killed, but somebody, yeah, some people be getting beat up and whatever, you know. The comedy of ventures is the most, uh, best one it is, you know. Like Rush Hour and Chris, Rush Hour and Rush Hour 2, even Friday, you know, with Cube and uh, Zeus fighting. You know, beating up each other. It was funny, but it, <laughs> that's that's how the hood is made up. You know, you go into the schools and you know violence. You got violent cliques in the neighborhoods. You got bloods and crips and violent. You know, violence everywhere. Then you got uh, mixed martial arts. You got football. Even basketball, you know, I mean, it's just, it's a violent culture, man, all over around the world. I can't say what every little city or state around the world is like that, but they'll soon be like that. So, I just wonder, man. I just wonder. So, I just wanted to come back with y'all on that. And do do we really want peace on earth? Because now we getting off on the violence. You know, we having fun with this. We too much fun with it. You know, peace on earth. Black light out.